Psalm 33, 1. Rejoice in the Lord, O ye righteous, for praise is comely for the upright. Psalm ninety-seven, twelve: Rejoice in the Lord, ye righteous, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. Isaiah 41.10 I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my God, for he hath clothed me with the garment of salvation. He hath covered me with the robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom decketh himself with ornaments, and as a bride adorneth herself with her jewels. Habakkuk 3.18 Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. Philippians 4.4 4. Rejoice in the Lord alway. And again, I say rejoice. I have a cat and I love him dearly. And he really loves it when I sweet talk him. I tell him how sweet he is and how handsome he is that he has beautiful brown eyes, a long tail, soft fur, and a wonderful promoter. He listens and purrs when I talk to him like that. He just loves to hear it. Here's the thing. If my cat is worthy of being talked to like that, then how much more is God worthy of the same kind of sweet talk? If my cat loves to hear me express such deep loving affection for him, then how much more would God love to hear that kind of loving affection from me? I doubt that too many of us talk to God like that very often, though. So I'm going to show you how. For this part, I'm going to reverse my usual order of writing first, then reading it off, so I will be free to be more spontaneous with this form of worship. But first, if you don't already have a relationship with God through Jesus, I would like to give you the opportunity to do that. Dear Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins, and that you rose again the third day. Please forgive me of my sins and come into my heart and be Lord of my life. Help me to overcome sin in my life and live for you so I will have joy when I see your glory. In Jesus' name, Amen. This is only intended to get you started, so please, don't just listen and agree. Expand upon it and make it your own. Here we go. I love you, Lord. I thank you for your holiness and your grace, your mercy and your truth. Thank you that you are good even in bad situations. Thank you for your glory. I long for the day that I will see your glory in all its fullness. I rejoice in your goodness. I thank you for the joy of your presence. I thank you for your love. I thank you for the peace that you give me in times when it's most desperately needed. You are so good. You are so holy. I praise you, Lord. Thank you for saving my soul. Thank you for being my God. Thank you for revealing yourself to me in so many ways and in so many experiences. Thank you for who you are and for what you've given me. You've given me so much. I love you, Lord, and I just want to praise you. Thank you for your glory. Thank you for your holiness. Thank you for your mercy and your justice. Thank you for cleansing me from my sins. Thank you for making me right and holy in your sight. Thank you for giving me a right relationship with you. Thank you for trusting me to fulfill your purpose and your plan for me. Thank you for working your will in my heart and in my life. Thank you that even when I do mess up, you're always good and you're always willing to forgive. I never have to doubt that with you, Lord. I never have to doubt that I can be forgiven when I mess up. 
and I never have to doubt that you will answer my prayers, that you will hear me, that you will know all that's in my heart and love me, even though some of the things in there aren't so good. I never have to doubt your love, and I never have to doubt your holiness. Lord, I long for the day that I will see you in the fullness of your glory. And you know how I dream of giving you the biggest hug you've ever gotten. Because I love you so much, Lord. You are so good. You are so holy. I thank you, Lord. I thank you. I praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Now you do it on your own. You keep going. You keep worshiping him. You keep letting him know of all the good things that he's done for you. All the good things that you've seen him do in your life. And so will I. Let it refresh your spirit. Let it strengthen your faith. Let it fill you with a deeper love for Him and strengthen your bond and relationship with Him every day. Thank you for watching. May you learn to sweet talk the Lord with all your heart, not just for show, but for Him and for you.